I'm going to go and take a look at Geneva via the airport. Hopefully I can find my way to the centre of town and see what, what's going on. Most people here are skiing, so I'm kind of the odd one out really. I'm going to actually look at Geneva. <laughs> so yeah, I'm heading off to find the train station. I believe my transport card covers that. You get a free sort of like, you know, with the city tax that you pay, you get like a free tourism um, card you know like a transport card and you can use that to like travel around Geneva I believe you can use it on the buses and um, on the trains I don't know if there's trams yet but I think you can I don't think you can use them for taxis or anything but, but yeah I'm going to head off and see if I can find the train station made it into the center of Geneva now I've just got off the train in the train station which is right in the main part of the town um, I just spoke to somebody about how to get to the lake he says just five minutes sort of in front of us uh, so I'm just gonna take a walk down to the lake um, yeah really easy to get here from the airport uh, just follow signs for the trains and then there is so you just go down like a kind of some stairs nearly every train seems to go to Geneva if you've got one of the transport cards that you get kind of free with the with your hotel stay in most hotels um, you can just jump on the train and um, come straight into the center of Geneva it takes a few minutes and the trains are really cool loads of seats um, yeah tons of space okay right let's go and find the lake
found the lake. Um, it's only a short walk from the train station. Uh, maybe like five minutes walk or something. So it's really good. You don't even need to get a tram really down to here. There's no, you know, once you're into the centre of Geneva, I don't think it's that big a place. Uh, but yeah, pretty stunning the lake. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty nice lake. So yeah. I think it's quite big all the way around, so I probably can't walk all the way around it, but <laughs> but yeah, really good to good to see. And uh, yeah, nice. I managed to find it so quickly, really. So um, yeah, it's really close to the centre of the town, or what I think is the centre of the town. So yeah, it's like some sort of mountain in the distance there. Um, it's kind of like covered in mist. I don't know if it's a mountain or a big hill or something. Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty picturesque and really sunny and it's like kind of still sort of, well, spring, just, just about started spring and it's really, really sunny and nice today. Started off kind of raining a bit, so pretty glad that it's got, got better. Oh yeah, really nice. That's a fountain. That's pretty cool. It creates like a kind of rainbow effect on one side, so it kind of goes up, and then as it comes down, it kind of crashes on the on the pier type thing that's out there. Um, creates like a rainbow that's kind of like hovering over it, so it's pretty cool, really. It's well worth coming to see. When you sort of like, you know, come to Geneva, you see it from a distance, you kind of think, yeah, it's a fountain. You know, that's kind of cool. But but yeah, when you come up and have a look really close up. It's, it's quite impressive actually, so I don't know how it works, I guess it just uses the lake water and just keeps pumping. 
don't know if it's solar powered or something, but yeah, it's pretty good. Um, but yeah, a lot, lot of people uh, sort of challenging to go and, um, you know, go out to where the water comes down because you can actually get past the barrier and you can, um, you can kind of walk down and get wet if you want to. <laughs> You can go under the fountain, so yeah, all for free as well. It's totally open, so you don't have to pay to come down and see this. Um, I don't know if you could really charge for it, but yeah, pretty good. Basically, you can you can either go up pretty close and get a really good view of it, or you can go even closer and get soaking wet, like some girls and a guy did down there. <laughs> so so yeah, so. It's your choice really, I'm going to choose to stay dry because I'd like to uh, enjoy the rest of the day as well as that bit. But yeah, Geneva, it's pretty cool isn't it? Geneva's just stunning really, you've got, you know, the, the city, you've got the mountains behind the city, you've got the lake, you've got the big fountain, you've got really nice architecture, the public transport's really good, but on top of that, you've got a beach. So look, you've got beach here, <laughs> I mean, you just wouldn't expect to find a beach here, I mean, I know it's by a lake, so maybe you should, but I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's, been constructed or whether it's natural uh, you got loads of geese look people feeding them over there that's pretty cool yeah it's really got everything here you know you look out to the to the lake and you can see like the mountains behind the city it's great and um, there's really nice cafes along the the lake edge and uh, yeah and a beach where even little kids are playing over there <laughs> You know, kids are basically playing back over there so you know if you can see them you know and yeah it's pretty cool so you know you're basically you spoiled for choice of things to do really you know I thought I was gonna come here and I'd get a few pictures of the lake and then kind of you know go back to the hotel but actually there's loads and um, yeah I keep getting distracted by seeing new things and I think my transport card may even let me get on a on a little boat that takes you across the lake, so um, like a water taxi or something. So I'm going to be trying to find that out. Right, there is a swan coming towards me. Um, don't know if he's friendly or her or him. Who knows? But yeah, so pretty good. Yeah, things we'll do for footage. He seems pretty friendly. Probably thinks I've got food, but. Yeah, they can break your arms, I think, so you've got to be really careful. You've got really, really strong wings. Yeah, kids play area over there if you want that as well, so it's really good. Oh, the uh, swans are starting to uh, chase people, <laughs> so that's good. But yeah, you've got people playing on uh, swings and stuff over there. You've got the view of the lake. You've got swans that are only mildly aggressive. Um, who knows if they're aggressive, he might just be coming over to say hello. But he does look like I'm going to give him a lot of space. Yeah, so, you know, Geneva's pretty cool. Oh, and there's like a train going round over there, it's pretty cool as well, isn't it? So you got like a, one of those sort of like touristy trains, like a road train. So that's pretty good. 
yeah there is a lot to do in Geneva so right I'm gonna go and see if I can get on a water taxi if it's possible still trying to find the uh, water taxi um, I've walked roughly in the direction I saw them going uh, but I haven't actually seen one yet that's actually gone anywhere or you know that where there's a jetty that you can get on them and unfortunately everywhere that I've passed so far every toilet has not worked so uh, that's not great but yeah I'll keep searching for the um, for the uh, water taxi Unfortunately, all the ones that I saw were quite far back and I was quite far from here, so now that I'm sort of in the vicinity of where I thought they went, I'm not seeing any. So hopefully I can locate one. If not, I'm sure I can walk the sort of 20 miles back that I walked. Uh, or there might be a bus or a tram I can jump on, so it should be pretty good. I got that transport card, so I should be able to jump on anything that comes past. Right, I'm going to keep looking. I think I found the uh, jetty for the water taxi and um, also found quite a few flies as well uh, but yeah it's uh, it's got the Uniresco logo there so I think that means I can get on it <laughs> with the transport card so basically it looks quite official it looks very much like you know it's, uh, it's that kind of thing so let's have a look at the board so we're Samadhi Saturday and it's round about 20 to 2 so 150 there I think is when it goes 150 so and there's an M3 and an M4 so I don't know where they go so one goes from here oh, they both go from here obviously one to Paqui ah here we go there's a little map so so I think we probably, I think, I think De Chateaubriand is like straight across. So I got a feeling that's like literally straight across. So we we'll probably have to walk the same distance that we have down the beach and down the lake. So that would kind of go straight across opposite to where we are here. And then you'd have to walk down the, the path back to Geneva. Um, not that this isn't Geneva, but so I think the M4 is just M3 or M4. One of them is is straight across, and one of them takes you back, I think, to like the heart of Geneva, so where it's like a five-minute walk up into um, up into the town centre, so or city centre. So I think we're not pushed for time, so you could probably get on the. Um, we could probably get on the one that is uh, going like directly across. Uh, probably won't be as long a trip as the other one. So let me just go back to the map. So yeah, so M4 is the one that goes directly across. They look similar distance actually. The danger is that it's miles of walking back to Geneva, but I think it'll be fine. So, yeah, so basically I think I'm going to go to De Chateaubriand and not Paqui. And then I'm going to walk back along the lakefront on the other side to what I've just walked on this side. So that should be pretty good. So yeah, should be, uh, should be alright. Hopefully the wind isn't too much of an issue um, on the audio because I forgot the... Um, 
forgot the external microphone. Um, that's the thing, you know, with these new Osmos, you have to you have to have a separate like kind of uh, wireless attachment, which is great, but you always forget it. So it's a nice feature, but um, you also look a bit of a tit, you know, with a with a sort of you know microphone on. <laughs> <laughs> look more conspicuous than just walking around like this talking to yourself so yeah so uh, yeah I'm going to see which is the next ferry um, and hopefully it'll be an M4 I think and I can get on that one here so I'm going to be jumping on it I think soon if the driver will let me on if I'm right about the card I should be hopefully here we go <laughs> merci bonjour so yeah it's quite a cool little boat isn't it for, for free really I mean yeah pretty good Yeah, just waiting to go now. Now, the uh, worrying thing, nearly yeah, everybody cool. got on the other boat, the M3 boat. They seem to come both at exactly the same time. And, uh, which is why the timetable probably had exactly the same time on it. Uh, Swiss, <laughs> efi Swiss efficiency, I think. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know if it's right to get on this boat. There's only like a few people on this boat. <laughs> I think we'll be all right. I mean, it won't drop me off at the top of a mountain or something, and then I'll have to hike back down, hopefully. Boats don't go up, do they? So it'll be fine. But yeah, so um, yeah, let's see what happens. I suppose I can always just get back on the same boat back if it all goes wrong. Um, but yeah, really nice views. So out over the lake. So basically, there. yeah, decent views. Looking forward to it, really. Just another hidden thing that I didn't know about Geneva that you would be able to get on these boats for free. I kind of imagined you'd have to pay like a thousand euros for a mini cruise or something. But, um, but no, it's actually public transport, so yeah, it should be pretty good. That boat's already leaving. I'm guessing we'll be leaving soon. And more people are getting on now, so I think uh, I'm probably going in the right direction. Should be okay. Yeah, it's really cool. Right. Let's await the leaving of the boat. has landed um, and I think it looks like it's still walkable back to the town centre. Um, just waiting to get off now. It's pretty cool for free. I mean don't get me wrong it's not got a free buffet or anything like that but um, 
they're only for about 10 minutes but it's really good and you get really stunning views like this so you get to see the like the big fountain you can see like a mountain in the background there's ducks and other birds the swans can't get you in here yeah it's a nice little ship actually it's all right right yeah so now I'm going to get off the boat and hopefully I can just walk down the lake on the other side now so that's pretty good Merci Au revoir Not sure the captain of the boat was that keen on <laughs> being on camera but but yeah it's the modern world isn't it Anyway, yeah, so, really nice boat, um, really nice view of a lake, and uh, yeah, I've been, been impressed with Geneva so far, really enjoyed it. Thought there was going to be nothing going on, turned out to be lots of going on. Yeah, it's alright. And now I'm on the other side of the lake, so yeah, if you do walk down one side of the lake, and then you think, oh, I would have liked to walk the other side of the lake, you don't have to kind of walk all the way back round you can just sort of hop on the uh, water taxi um, and it'll take you back across and if you've got the transport card with the with your hotel which you probably have um, I don't know about for Airbnbs and stuff but it's pretty good yeah you know really nice and yeah I'm gonna sort of walk back towards the center of Geneva now I'm not sure what I'm gonna do there to be honest um, it's been quite cool walking down the beach and seeing nice sort of like views and now I've got to see what else the city has to offer. I definitely like a bit of nudity here. I saw a sort of statue of a woman earlier naked and now there's like a bloke or a yeah, bloke with a horse um, with a knob out, so yeah, quite a few statues like that about, I think. Anyway, heading down into Geneva still. I'm glad I decided to walk the other way down the uh, lake this morning because I've come back across to the other side of the lake now and really all there is down here is a big walk path and kind of like nice buildings and um, hotels and stuff on the right of me um, but there's no there's no kind of facilities there's nothing there's no kind of like food places or there's benches to sit at but there doesn't seem to be much going on apart from a statue of a horse with a bloke with his, you know, stuff out. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend that if you push for time, go down the other side of the lake, that sort of furthest away from the town centre, because this, this side just doesn't have as much going on. Um, you know, it's fine if you want to walk, but the other side had a beach, it had cafes, it had the fountain, it had like swans on the beach that were mildly aggressive, but not fully aggressive. And it had a water taxi. I think this side's got a water taxi as well because I just got off it. But if I were you and you'd walk down this side, get on the water taxi and get down on the other side of the lake because there's more going on on the other side of the lake, it's much nicer. I mean, it's nice buildings and stuff. Maybe it's because the sun's gone in a bit now. Maybe I, the vibe has come down or something, but... No, I'm still positive, but I just... Yeah, I, I think that the other side of the lake's got more facilities. There are restaurants, there are all sorts on the other side, so... Yeah, I, I would definitely check out that side of the lake. And this morning when I came, I didn't really know which way to go, so... I kind of went the other way because the sun was in a better position for the camera and I think it worked out pretty well really um, because now the sun is the other 
place that's actually better for this side but um yeah walk down the other side of the lake it'll save you a lot of time Okay, so I've found something on this side, um, which looks quite interesting. Um, basically, up over these steps here, it's like kind of out like a pier. I think both sides have kind of piers. One led to the fountain. This side's leading to the the um, to something. Don't know what it is. Restaurant, I think. Little bird down there. Here's some boats. Yeah, this side's a bit better here so this actually has upped its game um, so yeah you've got some cool flags and I guess you've got a restaurant down there I think there's a pier and there's some sort of thing that looks a bit like a lighthouse but I don't think it is a lighthouse it might be but yeah so yes it's all right really I mean there just wasn't much until you got to this bit and uh, well, you do have swans over here as well. So you've got swans over here on this side. People are feeding them over there as well. So I wonder if they're as aggressive as the ones on the other side. Not that one actually attacked me. It just seemed threatening. But, um, yeah, I think it's like a full-on restaurant. It smells good. Ooh, pigeons as well. Pigeons down there. If you like that sort of thing. But yeah, it's alright. It's um, it's a bit beachy on this side as well. There's kind of like a little beach here. A um, bit sandy up this way. I think most of it's that kind of sort of pebbly down this side. But yeah, you know, this side isn't too bad. They've tried to have some stuff, but I think the other side just had stuff spread out all the way along the side of the lake. So it kind of like, and and I think it's because I had a nice sort of you know drink over there and everything. So maybe that. Maybe feel better about it, but yeah, this side's not too bad. I mean, they're both good. Go to both. You know, you should see both, really. There's no point coming to Geneva and seeing half the lake, is it? So, don't don't do that. Try and see both sides. But if you press for time, go for the other side. That's all I'm saying. But yeah, you got the fountain over here as well. So yeah, so I went to that earlier. Went up to it pretty cool so yeah and it's like I see I was confused because there was a little sort of lighthousey type thing on the end of that as well and there is and I thought it might have been this one when I saw it there's one over here got like a kind of fitness area as well if you like that sort of thing sort of fitness people going on the bars look so yeah so if you want to do that sort of stuff you got that sort of stuff yeah, it's still quite sort of pebbly this side, I'd say, this beach. It's not as good. The other side was like, there was a bit that was really sandy. So you had a beach. This side isn't really a beach. So I wouldn't come here if you want a beach. But yeah, it's all right. But, um, you still got good views and you got views of the other side, which I just walked down. So yeah, it's pretty nice. I expect the wind will be playing havoc with the <laughs> with the with the sound but but yeah you got the view of the fountain out there which is pretty good and then of course you can walk out to the pier over here um, you can sort of don't know if, is this a pier I don't know what this is but that that looks like a kind of lighthouse so whatever that is it's pretty nice and then you can see the other nice side that I walked down so yeah and that's where we got on the taxi over there somewhere yeah oh do you know what i can feel the spray from the fountain here like it's not raining i'm pretty sure it's not raining but basically like there's like a kind of 
fine spray coming across here. Definitely, maybe it's when the wind blows a certain way, but you can definitely feel particles of water. So that fountain is, is coming right over. So, I don't know if you, yeah, so that fountain there, it, it is getting water to come even as far as over here. You know, so it's blowing in the wind. So, yeah, it's getting to here. But yeah, here we go. So yeah, you can see there's like a kind of lighthousey thing at the end here. So that's not bad, is it? You know, you know I think Geneva's been pretty nice, really. You know, I mean, if you're not coming for skiing, then this is the kind of stuff that's about. We got nice views out on the lake again. I'd love to have been able to drive around the lake, really. We did want to do that last year, but didn't get around to doing it. We went a different route, but yeah. Anyway, yeah, really nice. to find a toilet um, they've got these kind of like little cubicle building type things that are just kind of along the side of the river well the lake um, unfortunately there was a guy in there and I opened the door and uh, he said oh I don't like to use the lock just in case I get locked in but I, I decided to risk it and it seemed to work so yeah luckily he was just washing his hands so it was fine this walking and looking at stuff is uh, pretty thirsty work so I decided to stop for a beer um, I do feel a bit hungry but I don't really feel like anything savory so I decided to go for a crepe with Nutella and um, banana so let's see what that turns out like but yeah really nice here sat by the side of the lake nice little cafe they do have cafes on this side of the lake which uh, it's further up closer to the town uh, but yeah it's pretty good um, we've got some pretty good views out there let's have a look at the views yeah so you've got loads of views out here you can see the fountain I can see the other side of the lake yeah, it's really nice and that's another like transport stop there uh, it looks like line M1 so that if you've got a transport card you can jump on that usually your hotel will give you a transport card so um, do check with your hotel because you know the chances are you've probably got free travel around Geneva but you might end up paying for it without realizing it so yeah looking really good nice kind of hills slash mountains in the distance there uh, boat coming in so yeah pretty nice I'm just waiting for my crap to arrive and hopefully it will taste pretty good. That one's an M2, that boat, so it's going into another uh, dock. Not sure where the M1 and the M2 go. Uh, M3 and M4 were crossing the lake over 
down where I came from. So, ah, brilliant. Merci. So my uh, crepe has arrived. So here we go. There we go, it looks pretty good. Yeah, I just didn't really fancy anything too big, so I didn't fancy anything savoury. But yeah, looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to dig into that and wolf down this beer. another area of Geneva now which is sort of away from the lake um, I think you kind of get stuck around the lake thinking that that is Geneva but there's quite a lot sort of around it really like there's obviously the whole city you've got like kind of nice bridges going across the river um, the river kind of goes down through um, I will flip the camera but it may not pick up very well because of the Sun but yeah you've got like yeah, you've got sort of like a river area here, which is pretty cool. You know, nice little kind of footpaths across it and cycle paths and stuff like that. So um, I'm going to attempt to cross the cycle path as scooters coming down. So you're not far from the lake. I mean, the lake's just over there, behind that bridge there. For some reason, the police have kind of cordoned off the road over there. I don't know what that's all about. But yeah, you've got nice buildings and everything basically here. It's got like everything. You've got a bit of mountain, bit of buildings. You've got some lakes, you've got a river. Well, one lake. And you've got loads of like swans and seagulls and water taxis, I mean it's great really, there's quite a lot to do, well quite a lot to see, I haven't really searched out things to do so to be fair there's probably loads to do as well but yeah just walking around with no idea what you got to do is still still good, <laughs> so you can still kind of find things to do and see so you know it's pretty cool, nice watch shop over there Breitling store so if you're into watches that'd be really cool it's, yeah it's really you know it's nice and sunny evening as well and this is like it's like the middle of March now but it's really warm and sunny and um, yeah I mean I probably could have gone out in a t-shirt and I wouldn't be cold so I mean my, my jacket keeps falling off but <laughs> I'm not cold but yeah, so it's handy to carry things. But yeah, it's really nice and I wasn't expecting it to like kind of be as big as it is really and like quite a lot to walk around and see. Um, yeah, like, and I probably haven't even seen like, you know, 10% of it probably, so. But yeah, it's quite nice. And it's starting to get towards late afternoon evening now so I probably will be heading back up to the train station soon my hotel is out near the near the uh, airport so hopefully I'll be able to figure out which train to go back towards the airport um, it seems pretty straightforward you know really good transport links from the airport to the city um, really you know trains just constantly to here and um, yeah it's really pretty, nice Saturday day and afternoon really. It's basically walking around the lake and you know, it's been, it's been good. I've really enjoyed it. I haven't done a lot, I've just kind of seen things, but I don't think that's a bad thing. I, would, I, I kind of, 
I'm, I've enjoyed the rest. I've enjoyed just sort of walking around and enjoying it and seeing things and, you know, yeah, pretty good. But yeah, not sure where I'm going. train back to the airport back to my hotel um, it's amazing they've got these double decker trains they're really cool it seems to be just like tons of space they're really long uh, double decker but really long um, you know you almost seem, always seem to get a seat um, both when I uh, when I went out and when I uh, have come back there's basically tons and tons of seats and you know they're like you know they're, they're decent window seats as well so you know you're not just sort of you're having to sort of sit like you know like on a tube style seat so they're proper like you know airline seats so so yeah it's really really good and um yeah it's only a few minutes really on the train i think it's about five minutes maybe slightly more maybe seven but yeah, it's great. Basically, I'm uh, heading back to the hotel now, uh, which is either a free shuttle. Um, I'm staying at the Nash Airport Hotel, but it's only a free shuttle from the uh, from the airport, which is pretty much outside the airport. Or you can walk the sort of five minutes over to the airport. It's not that far really to walk. So I'll have a think about what to do when I get back. Um, to the airport but yeah it's been a great day out in Geneva really enjoyed it um, haven't done a lot but I've really enjoyed not doing a lot so yeah hopefully you've enjoyed that video hopefully it's been useful to you hopefully it sort of give you an idea of what to do if you haven't got any ideas <laughs> in Geneva <laughs> if you turn up with no plan with no with no actual sort of like schedule then you know there's still stuff that you will kind of happen upon but uh, yeah, probably best to get a schedule.
but um, yeah so yeah really good hope you enjoy the video please like and subscribe it really helps the channel out if you do that and thanks for watching I'll see you again in the next one